Palantir has earnings on November 2nd. I believe the long-term strategy justifies buying a small amount of call options before earnings or just outright purchasing the stock. Dan Ives of Wedbush Securities calls Palantir the best pure play AI name in a CNBC interview in August of this year. Since 2003, the secretive company has built custom-made AI or ML, which is machine learning solutions, and sold them to the government or large commercial enterprises. This video is going to be jam-packed with analysis on Palantir, going over the stock, the technicals, and what I see with the options. I am bullish regarding Palantir because its key operating metrics demonstrate strong performance. The company delivered a 38% year-over-year customer count, which I think is a strong bullish sign for investors. Gaining more customers allows the company to significantly improve its financial performance due to the wide range of offerings for customers. Having a diversified set of products and modules means that solid cross-selling and upselling opportunities are present for Palantir. Cross-selling and upselling can make Palantir a lot of money within its already current customer base. Therefore, it is unsurprising that the billings growth significantly outpaced the number of customers increase with a 52% year-over-year growth. I am very bullish for this earnings. Now, of course, I can't predict the future, but I have a pretty high certainty. Let's take a look at the chart and the options. So here's Palantir right now. I'm using Yahoo Finance. The market cap is 31 billion and the PE ratio is currently not available because obviously their earnings per share is currently negative. So it's really important to take a look at their chart. And also I'm going to show you why it's important to take a look at the statistics tab in just a moment. But taking a look at the chart right now, the stock has been doing pretty well actually over the past six months. This stock was under $10 per share. I was buying it and then I was also selling puts on it. And then, you know, the stock really exploded. So I've been kind of shy to buy it around these prices. But currently, as the stock has pulled back, I think it's becoming a really interesting opportunity, especially because if you look right here, it has a really strong support at around 14. In fact, it has a super strong support at 14. If I draw a line from here, you know, this is going back into July, actually, even before July in June. All right. So in June, this stock was around $14. So let's click right here. And then if I go, you can see here how much of a strong support there really is. So if this stock goes down, I expect it to basically bounce off pretty hard, even if earnings isn't that good. So that's the really interesting part that right now earnings sort of matter because in the short term, the stock can go up a lot or down. But even if it goes down, I expect this stock to continue going back up and bouncing off this support level because the market is actually very simply psychology. It's investors looking at what price they want to buy a stock for. And when there's a lot of support like this, this is a very clear indicator to me that it is actually a really good opportunity and the support is very clear. Now, let's take a look at the options because I think there's a few things that we can do with the options right now. I'm going to go to Palantir and I did forget to show you guys the statistics tab. So something that I look for in the statistics is I look for price to sales ratio. So here 15 is not necessarily that low, but Tesla was way over 20. Now price to sales is important because companies that don't have a lot of earnings, it's much better to obviously look at price to sales because they have sales, but they don't have strong earnings. I also look at a whole bunch of other things here. I do look at the moving averages. I also want to see that the shares are not super short. Palantir is super short. So I'm just going to be honest with you. This is not a play where I would put all my money. This is a play where I put maybe 5% of my capital into, you know, because obviously there are safer companies than this one, but the volatility here makes it really attractive. So if I go to the options, they are very attractive. There is a whole bunch of money to be made. So, you know, there's a risk and reward trade-off. If you want, you know, a higher reward, then obviously the risk is going to be a little bit higher. So if I go to trade Palantir options, and again, you know, if I just look at year to date, this stock is currently up 122%. So when I was recommending it, pretty much doubled now. Okay. So let's go to trade Palantir options. I'm going to show you what I would be doing. Okay, I'm gonna to go to, first of all, buy call option. I don't love buying call options, but if you have a smaller portfolio, this is a pretty necessary strategy. You have to plow more capital into your portfolio as much as possible on a consistent basis. Along the way, you might have to buy a little bit of call options or leap options. I have videos on that. Let's go to buy call option and uh, November 3rd would capture in earnings. So. That's why right here, you will see that this is very expensive. The market is pricing in a pretty significant move, actually. Since the 15 strike is going for, you know, 80 cents, that's, you know, $80 that you have to put up. And the delta here is really high at 48.48. Implied volatility is insane, guys. This is insane. This is bonkers, absolutely. Like, implied volatility for the S&P 500 is like 30. And here, it's like 165. 
Okay, this is one of the highest implied volatilities I have literally ever seen, except for some really crazy biotech companies that are about to report like uh, FDA approval or drug approval. Here, very high implied volatility. So that just tells you that the market is, you know, expecting a really huge move up or down, you know, and it's not certain. If I go to buy put options, for example, you will see that uh, the 14 and a half is also going for a lot of money. In fact, one strategy that you could look at, you know, let me just educate you on everything. One strategy that you could look at is going to be a, a strangle. So you can actually bet on the stock going down or up. Okay, this is a really interesting strategy because you don't have to know the direction which way Palantir will go, but if you believe that the stock is going to pop higher or lower and you know potentially disappoint, then this is a really good strategy right here. But me personally, I would not be buying put options because uh, you know as I said, I am more bullish than bearish. So with this call option, you know obviously the max profit is unlimited. I mean the stock could go up a lot, and in theory it can go up you know unlimited but you know i expect the stock if it pops up it would go up to about 17 which means that this would be a little bit more than doubling your money you know if it goes to 17 then it would be a two dollar profit you pay 80 cents so you know that's a little bit more that's actually two and a half times in a very short amount of time in three days obviously high risk but at the same time, I can see Palantir going up. So, you know, I would use a little bit of my capital. I currently have a whole bunch of cash sitting on the sidelines, but, you know, I would use uh, up to 5% of my money on Palantir, especially if I had a high conviction in it, which I personally do. Now, the rest of the strategy is obviously you can lose uh, $80, and uh, yeah, that could be 100% of the capital that you put up. That is the risk with buying call options. Another thing that you could do is you can do a covered call, meaning that you can buy 100 shares. You can go to sell a uh, call, and uh, this is actually what I'll most likely be doing today once the market opens up. I'm going to acquire some shares. I was trading this stock uh, in this account on 1016. You can see here that I sold some puts, actually made some money, and then I just didn't revisit the stock for a little bit, which is pretty good. You know, the stock went down, so I was really good with my timing, actually. I wasn't a fan of the momentum going down, so. This actually turned out really well on October 2nd, and then I didn't touch this stock for a little bit, and now it's actually under my strike price. So this is really good. That's why I'm going to jump in as soon as the market opens up, and I'm going to get in position to play Q3 2023. You know, the, the earnings is gonna be really interesting. Now, I just wanna let you guys know one more thing. There is a YouTuber called Investing with Ashley. I have been helping her out. She's actually one of my students. She started her own YouTube channel and she does analysis on Palantir as well as SoFi. And she is just overall fantastic. She is also a coach for me and she just passed her 100th video, 5,000 subscribers. So go ahead and check out her channel. She just, you know, covers different stocks. So Palantir is one of them. You know, she's fantastic. She is actually retired and uh, she's just super passionate. So I'm very excited to be helping her out. Uh, she does SoFi. She actually does a little bit of options as well. She has a $700,000 portfolio. So she's doing, you know, trading full time and now she's actually a coach as well. She sells puts. She is trained by me. So she really likes my strategies, basically selling puts, you know, safe income strategies. She covers Palantir, Amazon, Tesla, Carnival. That's an interesting stock as well. I think Carnival Cruises is interesting because uh, I'm actually a big fan of airlines and some industrial stocks right now. So she sells options, um, you know, more Netflix, all kinds of different stuff. So go ahead and give her a subscription subscribe. And then for Palantir stock, you know, I think this is a bullish company. I am going to be buying it today. Today is actually my birthday. So thank you guys so much. I've been having such a pleasure being here on YouTube. If you like and subscribe, I will be really thankful. And here's Ashley's channel so you can check it out right now.